Hey everyone, and welcome to Top Think. Today we're going to learn about seven habits that reveal a lot about you. Now, let's begin. Number one, punctual people. Are you a punctual person? Punctual people show up early or on time to every engagement. You rarely miss a meeting or a phone call, and you always keep your appointments. If you're not a punctual person, you're always running a few minutes late. In your life, every clock runs a little bit fast, and you're always the last one to arrive. You reschedule most of your appointments, and many scheduled phone calls go unanswered. It turns out punctuality is a reliable measure of your personality type. Punctual people are typically type A. Type A personalities are competitive and productive. You take every engagement seriously, you're notoriously stressed out, and you've been called a workaholic or a busybody a few too many times. Type A personalities tend to be achievement-oriented, but your desire to succeed can make you tense and impatient. In other words, Type A personalities keep to a rigid schedule with high expectations, and they expect other people to do the same. But what if you're not a punctual person? Most non-punctual people have Type B personalities. A Type B personality is creative and flexible, adopting a casual and carefree approach to life. Your life rarely adheres to a strict schedule, and that's just the way you like it. Unlike Type A personalities, you're relaxed and patient, but your laid-back attitude can impact your productivity. Type B personalities are prone to procrastination and tardiness, which is why many Type Bs struggle with punctuality. So which one are you? A prompt and punctual Type A or a patient, laid-back Type B? If you don't know, pay attention the next time you have an appointment, a meeting, or a phone call. If you show up early, late, or right on time, then you'll know exactly what kind of person you are. Number 2. A vulnerable gait. What does your walk say about your character? The way you walk speaks a lot louder than you think. For example, the energy of your walk often correlates with your mood. Happy, excited people walk with a spring in their step, while sad people walk slower and heavier. Your walk can also signal personal security. People who are more secure in themselves shift their gaze forward while they walk. On the other hand, people with low self-esteem spend more time staring at the ground. These are useful correlations, but a study from 2013 discovered something even more interesting about the way you walk. This study was taken from the Journal of Interpersonal Violence. In this study, researchers showed videos to a group of inmates in a high-security prison. Each video displayed a single person walking from one place to another. After viewing each video, the inmates judged the vulnerability of each person based solely on the way they walk. Experts found that inmates could reliably distinguish between vulnerable and non-vulnerable targets. Most of the people they judged as vulnerable had experienced some kind of victimization in the past. In other words, something in your walk may be giving you away, whether it communicates your mood, your confidence, or your vulnerability. The way you walk reveals a lot about you. Number 3. Revealing Language Language is a key aspect of your character. Looking closely at the words you say, language experts can actually pinpoint exact details about your interests and your personality. Often the biggest giveaway is slang. Slang is almost always a reliable predictor of someone's hobbies, passions, and social circles. Because your slang is usually related to the people you spend your time with, you pick up slang terms related to your favorite activities, sports, or subjects. You may use niche terminology in your everyday speech. You may borrow phrases uttered by your heroes, your mentors, or your favorite celebrities. Without realizing it, your slang reflects who you are and what you like. The same can be said for pronouns and function words, which you use hundreds of times every day. Pronouns like I and you as well as function words like this and that reveal characteristics about your feelings and your state of mind. One psychologist found a correlation between function words and romantic attraction. He discovered people are more likely to imitate the function words of someone they find attractive. When you talk to your partner, for example, your function words may be surprisingly in sync. 
If you want to know more about someone, just pay attention to the way they speak. What words do they use? How often do they use them? And where do those words come from? Number 4. Confident Posture How do you carry yourself? Do you sit up straight and tall, or do you slouch everywhere you go? Posture is an interesting piece of body language. Not only does your posture reveal your character, but it's also a flexible signal of interest and enthusiasm. Alright, let's start with your character. How does your posture reveal what kind of person you are? Straight and strong posture communicates confidence and self-security. People who sit up straight demonstrate self-respect while demanding a similar respect from the people around them. People with poor posture, on the other hand, may have lower self-esteem. Slouching decreases their confidence, courage, and self-belief. But here's the problem with posture. It changes. Not everyone sits in the same position all the time. That's why the most telling signals have nothing to do with your average, everyday posture. Instead, let's look at the way your posture changes. Okay, imagine you're talking to a friend. You're slouching in your chair, when suddenly you sit up, straighten your shoulders, and lean forward. What message does your new posture send to the person that you're talking to? This stark change in posture signifies an increase in excitement and enthusiasm. When your posture shifts from slouching and lazy to straight and tall, the other person feels a positive change in your mood and attention. So what does posture reveal about you? On average, it's a subtle sign of confidence and personal security. But in the moment, a change in your posture sends a powerful and positive message. Number 5. Rough Mornings Are you an early bird or a night owl? Believe it or not, your sleep schedule reveals a lot about your strengths and your weaknesses. Just think about your average morning. When do you wake up? How do you wake up? Do you jump out of bed before your alarm sounds? Or do you hit the snooze button as many times as you can? Experts explain that early risers are prompt, regimented, and organized. They keep detailed schedules throughout the day and they take extra time to reflect on their personal goals. So what if your mornings are lazy, tense, and disorganized? Late risers, also known as night owls, are more creative and productive after the sun goes down. They dedicate their evenings to artistic passions, intellectual studies, and social relationships. Sure, they aren't as organized or regimented as early birds, but night owls have a different set of strengths. So which kind of person are you? Think about when you wake up and when you go to bed. Your sleep schedule communicates how and when you work at your best. Number 6. Restless Ticks Do you have nervous ticks? Do you bite your nails or crack your knuckles? There are dozens of nervous ticks out there. Some people have one, others have a handful, but these restless behaviors reveal many of the same personality characteristics. You might notice your nervous ticks in a wide variety of situations. You're restless waiting for an appointment, you're biting your nails when you're watching TV. But the problem isn't what you're doing, it's the way you're doing it. People with restless habits have impossibly high expectations of themselves. In other words, they're perfectionists. When they can't achieve perfection, their frustration leaks out in the form of nervous tics. In the moment, your nervous tics are helpful coping mechanisms to entertain your brain, but in the long run, those restless behaviors aren't doing you any favors. Reflect on the restless habits you do when you're feeling frustrated, insecure, or nervous. On the outside, they're harmless ticks, but on the inside, these habits signify a special kind of mental turmoil. Number 7. Unusual Correlations Do you sing in the shower? You may not think twice about belting your favorite song, but this musical habit reveals an important aspect of your personality. A 2017 study from the journal Personality and Individual Differences looked at correlations between personality traits and common everyday habits. Researchers wanted to see exactly how popular traits impact our regular behavior. Turns out your personality traits affect many of the most unique and bizarre things you do. Singing in the shower is one of them. People with agreeable personalities are significantly more likely to sing in the shower. It doesn't matter if you're a good singer or not. What matters is the kind of person you are. 
Interestingly, agreeable people are also most likely to wash the dishes when compared to other personality types. Because agreeable people want to make others happy, they often bear the brunt of the chores like washing dishes and ironing clothes. This study discovered dozens of strange correlations between habits and personality traits. Open-minded people are more likely to eat spicy food for breakfast. Extroverts spend more time in hot tubs, and narcissists take by far the most pictures. To better understand your personality, take a closer look at the little habits that fill your time. Each of those habits and routines, no matter how random they seem, may represent important parts of your personality. Hey, thank you for watching Top Think and be sure to subscribe because more incredible content is on the way.